Hello YouTube users. In this tutorial, I want to tell you about the importance of knowing how your stage works. First of all, you need to know what your stage is, and that is this white box right in front of you. The stage is the main area you will be working in. You can zoom into the stage with this drop down menu at the top here. Or you can type in a certain percentage. You can even scroll or pan through your stage using the hand tool. Or the scroll bars at the right and bottom of the stage. You have an icon here for navigating through scenes and another one here for navigating through symbols. And at the left, you have the name of the scene that you are working in. I'll talk about scenes in a later tutorial, hopefully. Now I'll talk about changing the stage properties. If you click on the stage and head over to the properties panel, under the area where it says properties, you can change the size of the stage and the color. Click on the edit button. You will see the dimensions for the width and height. And lower down you will see background color, which can be changed by picking a color from the color picker. Now I'll get into what I really wanted to show you. I'll head over to this document right here where I made a small Swift file and run it. I'll maximize that for you and press play. The first thing I want to teach you about is position. You need to think of your stage as a graph. From the top to bottom is your y-axis. And from left to right is your x-axis. Also, from top to bottom is your stage height. And from left to right is your stage width. Another very important thing you need to know is where zero is. The point of your stage that is zero is actually the top left and not the bottom left as you might have thought. Which means going from left to right is increasing on your x-axis and from top to bottom is increasing on your y-axis. That also means that right here is positive and right here is positive. Now I want to talk about rotation. On your stage, you might want to know the rotation of an object. And if you don't know where zero is, well, you're screwed. Zero degrees is to the right. As we rotate clockwise, you'll see we get to 90 degrees. Rotate another 90 degrees to make a semicircle and we get to 180 or minus 180 degrees. As we rotate more, we get to minus 90 degrees or 270 degrees. And then obviously, we get back to zero degrees. That's all for this tutorial. Let's hope I have some time to make more.